Hey, here's some bedside reading that might be useful. Price is pretty good too. Wow. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. So here's the Hawaiian Shirt Papa tour of the Pale Blue Dot, a antique, vintage, and other items shop on James Street North in Hamilton. That's a great saying on the front window too. It's a sampling of what they've got inside is shown in the window very nicely. notebooks, uh, washboards, and here we are going in. Not having been here before, I was just trying to get my bearings. Uh, it didn't look like antiques even though the Google map says it well, does have them as some. Those are gorgeous hats. They're brand new, but they're gorgeous. And heading back. Here you see some of the items that were in the window. Using some antiques to hold, to display them. Even a vintage stove. Probably, if not an antique, it's pretty close to it now. And here we are. The antiques are actually downstairs. This is the overview of the first portion of it. I thought I'd get a snapshot of that because it's narrow. It's a little difficult to, for the video to have picked up everything. So that's why you're seeing one side at a time. I actually had at my height, I had to take my hat off to be able to walk down there. You could walk around without the hat easily. I wasn't an issue. And here we are going into the other half. There was another customer that was down there at that time. But just this side, I think, was longer than the first side. So and that's the exit from the... Uh, as you, If you were going out, this is what you would see on the way out. Anyway, here we are going in, heading in. This is before that uh, other customer had gotten into here. Some, some are a little more closer to vintage. I think that looked like a teak item. I love the way they've uh, kept the stone foundation walls. Vintage suitcase. and a variety of other things that you can get a clue about what they have. That mirror has a price, so you know. I think they've removed the old finish from it so that if they've done a huge job for you which is well worth that price there's other items here interesting drawing of a building it had been marked down $80 good size frame 
nice print. And this is someone's teaching certificate and diploma from way back. So they've got some clothing down here. They're definitely vintage clothing. You need an instant ancient relative. There's one for you. Some carpet, the Biltmore box. I actually visited the Biltmore factory at one point in Guelph. And it, have, it was a situation that was around 2008, they were having some difficulties and they'd just been taken by a new owner. I'm not sure if that survived or not. I think it has. They make good hats. There was a couple of big vases, metal vases. I think they're $80 each. It's an okay price for what they were. They're huge. Table height. And some of the vintage clothing that they had down there on the hangers. Maybe some fabric too. I didn't quite catch that in my, my feeling of urgency that day. Some suitcases. Again, they're vintage. And they do have a few books down here. Some maps. I will have to come back and examine those a little more carefully. I have a collection of maps myself. And Westwood Avenue would probably like to know about those pieces. color on this particular camera is showing up kind of odd so I'm not sure what to say I tried color correcting it to a certain degree roller skates not roller blades roller skates they've got two wheels side by side at the front and two at the back and a bunch of uh, artwork in certain sections of the basement. Some mirrors as well. Collection of frames there from the looks of it. it folks that's the rest of the second and the second portion of the basement kind of like this image and here we are the book it was actually stickered for five dollars which is a real deal for that book they have a bit a, a postcard this is the front of it they're making it look even more vintage. But the back of it is telling because I suspect they may have actually found this postcard. Possibly somewhere when they're cleaning up or they picked it up elsewhere. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour of uh, the Pale Blue Dot. Hope you consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up. And uh, maybe even consider giving marking the bell so you get notified of the next posted video. Thanks. Take care, folks. Thanks.